Hello, my lovely beauties. How are we doing? How are we feeling? Happy Tuesday. Today is Tuesday. It is February the 26th. I just got home from work. I decided that I needed to do this video because this is the last opportunity I'm going to have to share with you all these particular items. And since I love doing what's in my bag videos and I love watching what's in my bag videos, I decided that I'm going to do a what's in my bag video. And I'm also going to show you two other well, one other bag and then an overnight bag that I had the honors, the privilege, whatever you want to call it. I was it. just so excited because I got to indulge in LV galore. <laughs> so I guess I need to get to the bottom of this because you're probably pretty confused right now. My close, close friend, my hairstylist, Fatima, such a wonderful person. I had gone by her shop to get my hair done and she was carrying her speedy i want to say it's a 30 but it could be a 35 so don't quote me so she was carrying her bag and i looked over and i saw it and i was like oh if you know anything about me i fell in love with the speedy way back when i was a teenager and that was a long time ago i've yet to get a speedy i have two other lv bags one was gifted to me by my friend diane which you all know I uh, showed that unboxing here on my video and then I actually purchased a pre-love bag as well. So um, that being said, when you know, I was so excited when she offered to allow me to use her LV bag and I was just like, could not believe it. I was so excited. I was like, are you sure? There's been times in the past when she's traveled and I'll be like, oh, you know, anything I have, you're more than welcome to. And, you know, we'll borrow little things here and there. And so, you know, it's not like abnormal and we, you know, we take good care of each other's things. So it's not, you know, it's, it's good. You know? So I go to her house to pick up the bag and I'm kind of thinking, you know, she's going to hand me the bag. I'm going to be so excited. I'm just all like, you know, in my mind, I'm just going over and over again. I'm so excited about the speedy bag. So I get there and she comes out with this bag and I'm like, okay. And that's a little bit bigger than what I was thinking, but where, you know, like I'm just like shocked. And inside this bag was this bag. So I was like, oh my God, like I'm in heaven right now. I was so excited. Now I think this is a Speedy 30. Correct me if I'm wrong. I, I'm sure a lot of my viewers will be able to tell me. My friend Diane, girl, I know you know. Hey, girl, hey. <laughs> but I think this is a 30. So this was this bag was inside of this bag, and I was like, oh, my God. Now, obviously, this is an overnight bag and not a bag that you would carry on a day-to-day -day basis or anything. I ended up not taking this bag with me because I uh, it just wouldn't work with the, with the way I was traveling and all that good stuff. So I had to go ahead and leave this bag behind. But I keep saying to myself, I wish I could go somewhere for the weekend and I would get to take this back. I would be so excited if I was just going to my car for the weekend and I could kind of throw my stuff in this. I would be so excited, but I have nowhere to go, so it's not going to happen. Now, I did take this bag with me. I ended up not carrying this one on the plane. I ended up packing this one in my backpack and carrying it with me, you know, within my carry-on. But I traveled with a different bag. Now, okay, she, so she did also give me this little insert to go inside of the Speedy bag. No, it does still have a tag on it because, and so I didn't want to take it off because this is hers and she probably had just bought it and I didn't want to like, you know, <laughs> go taking her tags off of things. But there is a name on here or maybe a model number. The number is Z-T-U-J-O, which I'm, I'm assuming that could be on, on some type of a model number, but she did tell me she got this off of Amazon, so... There you have it. And I do like this one because it has some great compartments and it even have the little thing for your keys. So I really, really do like that one. So anyway, I did carry this one while I was home and I was so excited. I loved it. I just felt so like, oh, you know, it just made me feel good and nice and warm on the inside. But let's get down to the nitty gritty now. So let's talk about what is in my bag. So this is a bag that I ended up carrying on the plane with me. I carried this one actually the most of the entire time I was there and I actually carried it to work for the last couple of days. I have to give these bags back to her tomorrow. So yeah, so I'm going to be really, really sad to let go of this bag, but I've actually really enjoyed this one. It's a crossbody bag. As you can see, I have no idea what the name of it is. So comment below and tell this me. This bag is very, very well made. This is one of the older models as in this is an older bag and the other bag is an older bag. So these bags are made much nicer than the newer bags that are being made today. And if I can get my hands on one like this one, I would be so excited because this bag, you can tell it's been used, but it still has so much time left to be used. Like it's a great bag. I mean, this, it just the feel of it feels so much different 
than the bags that you go in the store and touch uh, or see. So anyway, so let's go ahead and get started. This bag do have a little pocket on the back and I will say that my iPhone 11 do fit right into this pocket. And then it also has a pocket on the inside as well as an opening here. So let's talk about what's inside my bag. On the little pocket on the outside, like I said, I just have been putting my phone in it. I don't know if there's anything else in there. Okay, there is a receipt from Walmart. I was in Walmart the other day buying some groceries when I came back. So that's the receipt that's in. Okay, so we're gonna talk about what's in this front pocket here. So I do have some Kleenex, which these are the little travel cases. And then I have just random other tissues when I travel, and especially because I have allergies so bad, sometimes I get to coughing and I just feel like, you know, like the more Kleenex I can have or bigger napkins, the better I feel. So I tend to, like if I go into a restaurant or anything and you know, you get the little, you have a couple extra napkins, I will toss them in my bag, especially when I'm traveling. But I kind of do that when I'm not traveling too. And I also have this little fingernail file. This little case came from Ulta as well as the, the file that's inside of it. I have a pen and I have some band-aids. I have to be prepared whenever I go anywhere. And so now we're gonna talk about what's in the inside compartment. This normally would house my glasses, but my glasses are actually sitting in the kitchen on the counter because I had them stuck to my shirt from when I was working today. And then I have two packs of gum. Whenever I travel, I always wanna have gum if I'm flying because I have allergies, I have sinus issues. And when I tell you all, my ears ring something fierce. So I always, always have to have gum. And so this is my wallet. I recently got a new wallet and I haven't talked about it on my channel or anything. I bought it probably about a month ago. I wanted a red wallet. Red wallets are supposed to symbolize good luck. And I wanted something to start off the new year 2020 with luck because I have had a crappy 2019 you know and honestly I'm gonna say that the whole 2019 wasn't crappy but the end of 2019 just really I just had I was let down by a few people and I just oh it just you know yeah so anyway another whole story but all of that being said I wanted to start off 2020 with any possible way of having good luck that I could possibly find and so I found myself a red wallet I have gotten into carrying the smaller wallet so much that I don't feel like I ever want to go back to a larger wallet because I like being able to jump from a crossbody bag to a bag like this or to whatever size bag I want to without having to change my wallets. I used to do that a lot and y'all, girl, it's not about that life no more. So when you open up this wallet, there is a little slit right here, which is where I keep my driver's license. And I want to turn that around because I don't want to show my driver's license. But also when you open it up, there is slots on either side. There's two here and two there, which the slots are quite thick, so you can put more than one item inside of that if you need to, because I know that's not a really lot, a lot of slots, but I don't carry credit cards or anything like that. I just have my bank cards, health insurance cards, and things like that. And then it has these two pockets here that I just kind of stuff with stuff. I don't even know what's in there. I do have this little magnifying glass. I do want to show this. I think I, sh I show this in every one of my what's in my bag videos, but this thing is so handy sometimes especially when you have the agent eyes like I do, you can just take this out and you can read certain things like you can without, if you say, if you forgot your glasses, I love this little thing. I've got this when I was in, I want to say Savannah, um, Georgia, when I was traveling, um, and it was doing a road trip uh, a couple years ago, I believe. Dash. But um, I don't know if I said, but this is a hobo wallet, which hobo wallets are very, very good wallets. They are, a soft leather and then the next thing I have is a box of Altords which I love having these as well I always want to have a fresh breath and so I also have my headset which these are the Beats headset I did travel with and I have a hand lotion and this was a hand lotion that was gifted to me for Christmas from my secret Santa at work which it turned out to be one of my newer subscribers or once a subscriber that came to my channel after I started working at the university and it is Debbie. She is so precious. She, uh, thank you, Debbie. I, I had to put some on since, you know, I ran into it, but I love this stuff. It's, it smells so good and it makes your hands feel so soft. And then I have a lipstick, which I've been p pretty much using the same li lipstick all the time lately. I have on a different one today because I'm trying to make myself pull out some of my other lipsticks and use them. But this one I traveled with, love, love, love. And then I have one cough drop left. I had to travel with these because I have, like I said, I have allergies and I coughed a lot 
en route and I didn't want to freak people out, you know, especially with things like the coronavirus being out. I just had this fear that someone was going to think that I was ill and, you know, not want to be anywhere near me. So I wanted to be prepared. And then the little pocket that is on the back, which I don't even remember what's in here. It is my key to my car and then my house key. And then this is a, um, not a chapstick, but I don't know, a, a lip treatment, I guess. It's supposed to have CBD oil inside of it. Um, I'm not real sure if I like it or not. I just recently got it because I saw that it had the CBD oil in it and I was kind of curious about it, but I'm not, I don't know if I would recommend it as of yet. I have to play with it a little bit more. Oh, I do have some more cough drops and some cough drop paper wrappers, some more cough drops. These are the black cherry ones, by the way. And then I have a mint candy. And I have a couple of random, you know, little panty liner things. These are the thong panty liners, y'all. But, you know, life is real. And then I also have a summer ease cloth, which I love to travel with these because, you know, you always want to be fresh and smelling good. So fresh and so clean, clean. <laughs> so, yeah, so that is everything that is in my LV bag. That's not really my LV bag. So that is going to conclude this video, you all. I, I'm really dreading giving these bags back, but I know that I have to. So I do want to take this time out to say, Fatima, thank you from the bottom of my heart. It meant so much to me that you allowed me to have not one of your bags, but three of your bags. I will gladly return them to you tomorrow, but I'm going to miss them. Thank you all so much for watching my video, and I'll see you all in my very next video. Bye-bye.